it's Maddie welcome or welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be more of a science based video but I'm going to be sharing the importance of thyroid testing and the relationship between the thyroid and type 1 diabetes in particular and what it kind of means so first of all I'm going to show you kind of what the thyroid looks like so the thyroid kind of sits behind your windpipe and it looks like a butterfly shape it kind of would sit like right in here um you guys can't tell but my neck is right in this area that is something that gets felt when you go in for a physical or even if you go into your endocrinology office, they may feel your thyroid. Um, if you can feel your thyroid, there's probably something wrong or where it's enlarged. Um, there's a good indicator that there's something abnormal going on with the actual thyroid. It kind of sits behind your windpipe a little bit. Um, it's not very big. It's shaped like a butterfly and it is a endocrine gland. It is part of the endocrine system and in addition to like your pancreas your adrenal glands, your pituitary gland, any of them glands that you're that you're involved with in your bodily systems and producing hormones, it's huge. Insulin's a hormone secreted by the beta cells in the pancreas. The thyroid secretes uh, different thyroid hormones, so I'm going to talk about that now. Um, but no matter what, if you have type 1 diabetes, you should get your thyroid tested, um, mainly because the risk of you having another autoimmune condition with your thyroid is... Um, increases if you already have one if your body is already attacking one part of your endocrine system say the beta cells in the pancreas your body may be more likely to attack another endocrine organ like the thyroid not everybody um i know my endocrinologist was saying it's not like super common but it's not um uh, you know it's not like it's a zero percent chance and that's why it's, it's probably regularly good to be tested for your thyroid every year um, I had my thyroid tested last year. I'll probably get it tested again, depending on what they feel for me. Um, but if you can feel your thyroid, like I said, and they feel the enlargements or they feel something abnormal, good chance or something. The thyroid produces hormones that basically control the speed of your metabolism. Um, to keep it up to snuff, to make sure that you're able to metabolize the food you eat, the carbs, the sugars, the fats. So the thyroid kind of regulates your metabolism, and if you're producing too much or too little of one particular hormone that the thyroid makes. I do believe the thyroid makes other hormones, but this main hormone called T4 or thyroxine, if this hormone is too much or too little, it can either increase or decrease the speed of your metabolism, causing you to go through all kinds of symptoms. Your body is not going to feel good. You're probably going to have some uh, pretty uh, significant symptoms, which I'll talk about quite quickly here, kind of what some of them symptoms you got to look out for. The disorders come from uh, basically disrupting the production of these hormones, either making them too little uh, or too much production. So if you have too much T4, you have hyperthyroidism or an overactive thyroid. This is caused, um, it could be caused by Graves' disease, which is like the autoimmune condition of a hyperactive thyroid in which your body um, kind of forces your thyroid to really overreact. And you're going to go through some crazy symptoms. You might lose weight. Ladies, watch your periods. This is huge. If you are starting to notice you have irregular periods, good chance your thyroid could be out of whack. And particularly, it might even lead to hyperthyroidism. If your uh, blood pressure is raising, if you're having uh, issues like feeling cold or hot all the time, you could have a thyroid problem. Um, I know that's something they asked me when I was in the emergency room because I thought maybe my thyroid was out of whack, that I was having all these weird symptoms. It was diabetes. They did test my thyroid in the emergency room. It was normal. And then they tested it again three months later, and it's normal. When they yeah. tested mine, mine had been normal both times. And I'm sure every year hereafter, I will have my thyroid tested. Normally, insurance will cover thyroid tests once a year, particularly if you're a type 1 diabetic. They will also cover uh, dilated eye exams once a year. So that's a benefit right there. Um... In turn, if you have too little thyroid hormone being produced, or this thyroxine, or this T4, um, you have an underactive thyroid, um, which is also could lead into an autoimmune disease called Hashimoto's, in which there's inflammation in the thyroid, it'll lead to the thyroid producing tons of hormones, and then all of a sudden the thyroid hormones, as the antibodies attack the thyroid, you will have minimal thyroid uh, production. Now, I believe this can be treated with... Um, uh, Different treatments, if you have a hyperactive thyroid, they're probably going to give you medications to block the amount of thyroid hormone you're producing. If you produce too little thyroid hormone, they'll give you pills that will give you thyroid hormone falsely um, to kind of you know mimic what your body needs. Like, for example, if you're a type 1 diabetic like myself, we have synthetic insulin that is being delivered that does the same type of job as a normal pancreas would at uh, regulating blood sugars. It's not identical to what the body, the human body makes. But it, it does the same thing. It binds to the same receptors and causes the same chemical reactions within the body. 
The autoimmune disease that can occur with um, hypothyroidism or low thyroid production is Hashimoto's disease, which I just talked about. Uh, kind of the opposite of Graves' disease, but not exactly. The other thing that can happen with your thyroid um, can happen to anybody, no matter if you have diabetes or not, is if you have an enlarged thyroid and they find that there's these goiters that are kind of, if you've, you've seen pictures of people they have um, from the olden days, like they have these goiters, and that those are caused by a lack of iodine. This is why salt is iodized, you guys. Um, you need minimal amounts of iodine or iodine, as some of you pronounce it, in your body um, for your thyroid. That's why uh, the salt that we use or buy, they do have it iodized enough so that all of us, when we if we sprinkle a little salt on your meal, um, guess what? You're going to consume the iodine or the iodine you need, and you're not going to have goiter problems. Now, particularly when they test the thyroid, uh, they can take a blood test. And they've tested my TSH levels, which is different than your T4 levels. The TSH stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. This is a hormone produced in your pituitary gland. Um, all these different glands in your endocrine system, you guys, communicate. Um, so if the pituitary gland, gland is making enough thyroid stimulating hormone, is a, it's a good indicator that the thyroid is making enough of its T4, meaning that your metabolism in your whole body is going to be great. So... Warning signs, like I said, um, temperature change, are you hot, are you cold, blood pressure change, do you have high blood pressures, low blood pressures, is your weight fluctuating, ladies, do you have irregular periods, those are your four big indicators of something is wrong with your thyroid, okay, um, I would say the main big ones are probably weight and uh, blood pressure, um, if you're getting really high, really low blood pressures, or you're dropping weight, or gaining weight like crazy, and you're not changing your diet a lot, um, they're dropping weight or gaining, uh, dropping tons of weight or gaining tons of weight and you're not changing your diet or your lifestyle, good indicator there may be something wrong with your, uh, thyroid. So like I said, they test, they tested my TSH levels and in my test results, if it said that my TSH levels were abnormal, they would go ahead and test the T4 levels, which is what actually is testing the thyroid itself. Um, but because all these glands communicate, if your pituitary gland is making enough TSH, that means that your thyroid's probably in check for the most part. Now, there's probably some circumstances where it's not, um, but the TSH is a pretty basic indicator of how your thyroid's actually functioning, and mine were both normal. If this is abnormal, they'll test your T4, and if it's abnormal yet, they may run some other tests to confirm either, you know, maybe do some antibody tests and say, hey, maybe she's got Hashimoto's disease, hey, maybe she has Graves' disease, um, whatever the case may be. So, um, watch your body. And I know a couple of you in particular have told me that, you know, I only have type 1 diabetes. But to start watching your body and watching your body's warning signs and watching changes in your body, because it could indicate you may have another autoimmune disease, not necessarily the thyroid. You could have another um, type of autoimmune disease, like celiacs, if you're noticing your digestion isn't so good. You could have issues where you basically are no longer able to a process gluten problem. So I'm going to hop in here quick and log in and show you my test results from the thyroid stimulating hormone. When I was in the hospital, um, I think mine were normal, but they were like not low, nor on the low, low end of normal, but they were definitely not as normal as they are after I started getting treated for type 1 diabetes. And so I definitely feel like blood sugars, if they're out of whack, can actually temporarily throw your thyroid hormones out of whack. Um, but if they're consistently higher or lower than normal, indicator that there's going to be problems. I think, like I said, I think the body is related into one, especially the endocrine system, blood sugars regulation, thyroid regulation, um, adrenal regulation, whatever the case may be. So this thyroid simulating hormone was taken nearly a year ago. Um, but uh, my levels were 1.958, which is well within the normal uh, range. Um... Um, here's another thing too, if you have high doses of biotin, like that you're taking biotin supplements or you're consuming too much biotin in your diet, it can interfere with your test results. Um, and then they may have to do a different, a different test or a specialized test particularly for you. Um, but as you can see, my levels were well within normal. So basically if you want to round the normal levels, anything from 0.5 to 4 is normal. And if you're sitting at near two you're probably right in the middle and you're just perfect now if i was leaning more towards that 0.5 ish 0.6 ish you're getting to the low side okay you're getting to the point where you might have hypothyroidism if i'm leaning more four ish up to four and a half ish good indicator that i could have hyperthyroidism so it, it's it's all about measurements units numbers you guys that they can kind of define as normal what they've taken from previous people and what keeps your body's metabolism going so um 
Keep that in mind that this is an important thing to talk about. And if you have any concerns for your doctor, tell them. If you're feeling any weird symptoms, tell them. I know when I go into my endo office, they give me this big questionnaire and they ask me if I'm experiencing anything strange. Because if I'm saying, hey, you know, like I gained 30 pounds and I haven't ate anything different, they might want to test my thyroid. Maybe I'm not producing enough thyroid hormone and I'm gaining all this weight. Or, oh my God, I lost another 30 pounds. Well, maybe they want to test my thyroid and see if I'm producing too much. Or maybe, you know, if they take my blood pressure and it's oddly super high and you know what, I'm not, I'm a normal weight, I'm active, you know, and whatever, they might want to test my thyroid. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Very important. Get your thyroid checked. Uh, like I said, most insurance companies will cover a once year check. I would presume I'm getting my thyroid checked every year from now on. I am not a clue. Um... But I know for a fact that uh, type 1 diabetics can get their thyroids tested every year. Cholesterol levels tested every year. Um, you often get your urine checked every year to check your kidney health. And you can get a fully dilated eye exam. Pretty well covered by the insurance company. Also, let, let me know uh, if any of you down below have any thyroid conditions. Um, share your experiences with me because I think it's kind of neat how some of you um, have multiple autoimmune diseases. Not saying it's a good thing. But I think a lot of us can learn, especially me only having one autoimmune disease, kind of your experience. Uh, maybe some of the warning signs you went through before you were diagnosed with either hyper or hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's disease or Graves disease so that we can all learn and watch out and learn from each other. Um, because maybe there's somebody here watching that's having these really strange bodily signs and they don't know that maybe their thyroid's out of whack or maybe they don't know where to turn to or who to look for or what to be tested for or what to request to be tested for to determine if their thyroid is working properly. So please feel free to share. Not forcing you to, but the more we share and the more we comment down below and um, be a community. I love interacting with you guys and hearing your guys' stories. The more we can learn from each other and the more uh, awareness we can spread and help people lead happier and healthier lives because they're going to be able to get treated for fairly common conditions that can um, make them feel better once they're treated properly. So uh, please feel free to share if you want. Um, and I see a lot of you on Beyond Type 1 also share your stories, which is absolutely phenomenal. So keep doing what you're doing. Keep being your awesome Type 1 diabetic self. So you can get these covered, pretty much covered for you. And the beauty of it is, is a lot of prevention. Uh, prevention is key, you guys. These regular tests can help determine abnormalities before they turn into something dangerous. So let's say they noticed that my thyroid levels were a little out of whack. They were a little high, a little low. They can start giving me treatment now so that they don't turn into something severe or suppress, you know, the, the attack on the thyroid, um, if that makes sense. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Feel free to hit the subscribe button down below. I post videos every single week about diabetes plus more. Stay tuned for, for tomorrow when I will be celebrating 300 subscribers with a very, very exciting surprise video. I cannot wait to do this video. Um, so until then, take care, God bless, be kind, spread positivity, and be thankful. And if you're not sure about your thyroid check, getting checked, or your endocrinologist, or your regular primary care has not advised you to get your thyroid checked, talk to them about it. Maybe, just maybe, you might find a problem before it turns into a uh, bigger one. I highly recommend it. Get your thyroid tested. It's basically just nothing but a simple blood test. Bye, everyone.